Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Las Vegas for the first time. I've never been here before and I'm here with Roosevelt's because they're sponsoring an epic emo slash Star Wars Halloween party called Mosh Eisley and it's also the We Were Young Festival. So we're gonna go around, check out the casinos, eat some food and have a beautiful Las Vegas kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. I'm so excited to share with you guys all of my first time experiences roaming around Las Vegas doing all of the touristy things and we are staying here at Circa which actually looks like a gigantic hotel and I'm very excited to go on in. I'm going to give you guys a room tour and we're going to get it all set up for the day. From what I learned, Circa is kind of a newer, updated uh, casino down here on Fremont Street. And we're surrounded by a bunch of old casinos, like the Golden Nugget and stuff like that. And that's really cool because that's what I like. I like that old Las Vegas style. Growing up, I never came here, so all I had was like movies and pop culture. So like watching like Casino and Vegas Vacation. And those are the things that I think of when I think of like, uh, Las Vegas. So it's going to be interesting to see what my experiences are compared to my expectations. Across the street from our hotel, they have the California Hotel and Casino, and I'm loving all the color scheming, but ours has very fancy lights, and I'm drawn to the fancy lights, so we're gonna head on in. All right, we are all checked in, and we are staying on the 52nd floor. I don't think I've ever stayed in a resort that high up before, so I'm very excited to see what the view is like, but now I wanna show you guys a little bit of the casino because I love it in here. I love all the lights and the music, the sound. It's really, really drawn me in. As soon as you walk into the hotel, you're greeted by Vegas Vicky. Look at how cool that is. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? And her little cowboy boot actually kicks. That is real, I mean, I don't know, it used to kick. I don't know if it still does. Vegas Vicky used to hang outside, and I think it's awesome that it's here in the lobby. I mean, it's gigantic. I don't know if the camera can actually do it justice, or do her justice, should I say, and uh, I love it. But now, it's time to head up to the room. Let's get all checked in, let's get all of our stuff put away, give you guys the room tour so we can head out on the Las Vegas Strip. This casino has 60 floors, and we're on 52. Holy moly, this room is amazing. I was not expecting this. I mean, is it, this is gorgeous. Wow, I can't wait to show you guys. I'm all set up, I got all my stuff put away, and the view is just breathtaking. Let's start off right here at the front door. As soon as you walk in, you have a nice little bar area here with a TV and a bunch of bar stools. And if I had some friends, I can stand back there and pretend to be a bartender. It's got a sink and it's got a little fridge. Very, very nice. And then let's take a look over here because we have a bedroom and a living room. And I like how everything is like blue and gold. Like everything looks so fancy. I also have my lightsaber. This doesn't come with the room. I brought this with me for the Star Wars emo party. And I can't wait to tell you guys more about that later. And look at this. Got a pull down bed right here. I love all of the furnishings though. Like. I just like the gold and blue in the carpet, but take a look at this view right here. Look at this. Like I said, we're on the 52nd floor, and I love it. It is so gorgeous out right now. I can't wait to go out there seeing the mountains. I can't wait to see everything lit up. You know what I mean? Everything all lit up. I mean, this is facing outwards. Like, I think downtown is the opposite direction, but I like this a lot. I don't know why I turned my lightsaber on. Now I feel like I need to play with it. I'm so excited for the uh, Mosh Eisley later on. I'm gonna hang out, drink some drinks, listen to some music, play with some lightsabers. Sounds like a good time. Here is my bedroom. It's got a nice little desk area, a nice big bed, another great view. Also what I like is how everything is like, uh, like tech savvy, like uh, your phone is this tablet here, but if you wanna like close the blinds, look. To me, that is the fanciest thing in the world, technology. I love it. The bathroom area is actually really nice too, I'll show you that, but I just really like the view. I, I just can't stop looking out. 
Here is the bathroom area. Got a nice little shower, very good lighting. Like I like those showers, that's, that's really fun. And I also like all the casino wallpaper. Very, very cool. Two sinks, mm, feel like king of the castle. Nice little commode area. Some privacy, no privacy at all in this place. All right, enough of the room tour. Let's head on out and go explore a little bit and grab something to eat and just really take in all of Las Vegas. Whenever I'm visiting somewhere I've never been before, I always think to go to like high ground so I can see a little bit of everything all in one shot. And right down the road from our hotel is the Strat and I think we can go all the way up in there and I think they actually have some attractions at the very top so uh, that's gonna be our first stop but isn't it beautiful look at it down here I like the city of Las Vegas sign that's right here too and uh, I don't know much we're just kind of winging it we're just going for it just winging it and seeing what happens Whenever I go make videos like exploring or a new city or anything like that, I tend to make mistakes and it's actually really fun, you know what I mean? It's about the journey of things and being able to share that with you, is, it, it's so, it, it, you know what I mean? It's such a fun thing to do. It looks like we are able to actually go up in the Strat Skypod Tower and here is kind of a size chart to let you know how high up you're going and it's it's taller than the Eiffel Tower it's uh, almost six times the size of the Statue of Liberty so we're going all the way up I'm very excited 1149 feet up in the air so we're gonna be able to see a little bit of everything kind of a random thing but they won't let me take my tripod up uh the camera's allowed to go up but the tripod isn't and they also have a lot of thrill rides up here i'm not too sure if i'll do the thrill rides but i'll check them out and show you guys i'm just here for the view and we have made it to the top of the strat look at this what a view holy moly this is so cool you can see all of Vegas over there, and then they have all the attractions up here too. Look, they have one of those drop rides at the very top. That is crazy. Look at this. Right there is all of Las Vegas right in front of us here. It is so cool being this high up. I love it. And they have a bunch of thrill rides, like I said. Things that'll just hang you off the side here. You got people bungee jumping off the strat. It's so cool, and also seeing the mountains too. This is really fun. I like this a lot, actually. Do you know how high that is? Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. Let me know in the comments if you guys would do that. And that's not even the scary ride. They actually have a way scarier attraction. This is Insanity, and that is the name of the ride, Insanity. <laughs> Look at that. You were just hanging over there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of intrigued. I know it sounds insane, but that's why it's insanity. I looked into actually riding some of the rides up here and you can get uh, ride passes for like five dollars on the casino floor but you have to go back downstairs to get the tickets they don't sell tickets once you get to the top just so you guys know that if you plan on coming up if uh, you come up here you can't buy tickets you have to buy them beforehand so I don't want to go back down and then back up just to get tickets it's just cool to be up here and see all the views but let me know in the comments would you like ride any of these rides I mean I'm kind of a little afraid of them I'm not gonna lie I am a little bit afraid of them but if they had the tickets for sale, I think I probably would do it. If I was up here, I think I would just be like, you know what, I'm going for it. Just coming up here and seeing all of Vegas in one shot is such a great thing. I really do like it a lot. The rides are cool and also right down there is where the We Were Young Festival is actually, well, the When We Were Young Festival is happening and we're gonna be attending that on Sunday or Saturday, I think, and that's gonna be such a good time. But look at that view. Isn't it just amazing? 
the strat was actually really fun and it's cool to be able to see Las Vegas all at like a whole like one shot and I think it was worth the money just to go up and experience it but while we were up there we noticed a monorail and I didn't even know there was a monorail in Las Vegas so I think we're gonna head over to the Sierra and uh, catch the monorail so we can get kind of like a scenic drive through of Las Vegas and maybe uh, take it to our next destination and here it is, the Sahara. And I think we're gonna cut through here to get to the monorail. I'm excited, we've been into a lot of casinos. Everything's very fast paced, so I'm so sorry. It's not like my normal videos, but I'm just trying to cram a lot all in one video. You know what I mean? It's really cool to be walking through the Sahara, especially with all of its history. You can see you got photos of Elvis in here, and they're celebrating their seventh day anniversary. And I just like being around, it's, it's pretty nifty. Look at this, Sugar Ray Robinson right there. We basically just cut right through the uh, casino just to get to the monorail. Not too sure if it costs money yet, but I think it takes us over to the MGM, which is kind of the direction we want to go. Oh, we had to buy tickets. The monorail's not free. This ain't Walt Disney World, I tell ya. Looks like we're just in time. The monorail's coming into station. Look at this fancy monorail. Look at that, it got seats and everything. I like it. As well as Harris Lane Station, here you'll find a unique array of shops, restaurants and bars, plus Brooklyn Bowl and the High Roller, the world's largest observation wheel. Station, this is the last stop southbound. All passengers should exit the I'm pulling up right to the MGM Studios. <laughs> <laughs> We're making our way to the MGM Grand. Look at this. Planet Hollywood's over there. Right there she is, the MGM Grand. I love this, this is a great monorail ride right now. Lots of parking garages. That was a nice little monorail ride and it actually is very convenient. It's a good way to get around and you can just take it as it goes to all the different, it has stops at all the major like casinos and resorts and it's a lot cheaper than an Uber. It literally drops you off right at the MGM Grand. Look at that, it's the MGM Lion. That is so awesome. I get excited over the littlest things. That is so cool to me. Look at that. Ha! So cool. We made our way right through MGM Studios and came out over by New York, New York. And this is where the busy like area is. And it's where like all the sightseeing is. They have a Hershey store and a bunch of uh, characters are walking around, kind of like Central, I mean uh, Times Square. And uh, yeah, very touristy area. And here it is, New York, New York. You can see they got the roller coaster and uh, Hershey's Chocolate World right there. It's very cool looking, isn't it? Like, I love it. This is actually one big like hotel and it's just like a background. And then you have Park MGM there. I like it. This is where I want it to be. Excalibur is right over there and then you got the Statue of Liberty. I like sightseeing all this stuff. <laughs> oh, very cool. Now we've made our way from New York, New York, over to the Golden Tiki, a 24-hour tiki bar. And this place looks really fun. And we figured we'd grab some drinks, maybe a little quick bite, and uh, enjoy some tiki. Honestly, from the outside, this place looks like it's a really good time. Welcome, explorers, the Golden Tiki. 24 hours, exotic foods, cocktails, and gaming. And you can hear like some music. And just the doors alone. Look at this. You ready for this? Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh my lord. What? show you a laughing place. Did you hear that? <laughs> wow. 
This seriously might be the coolest bar I think I've ever been to. Look at the sky, look at the lights. And it just keeps getting better and better. Wow. We got a nice little corner seat over here and we just found out that they basically can light any drink on fire for a dollar extra and I think we're doing that. I mean, might as well get it all, light it all on fire. That is awesome. You ready? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Wow, that is good. My drink is so good, but I wish it would just stop looking at me. It's the only thing that bothers me. In fact, I think I'm just gonna pluck one of these eyes out and eat it. Just to let you guys know, there's probably gonna be some mature content coming your way uh, about this place. Uh, some aspects are probably not child safe, uh, but I love it, so I wanna add it in there just so I can share it with you guys. Fuck your one star, you yelping bitch. This is a five star establishment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the golden tiki was awesome. And now we're about to head out and go grab some lunch. But first, we have to swing back to the hotel, maybe change a little bit, and uh, keep the night going. It's It's been a jam packed day. And here we are, time to get some lunch. Look at all this. We've got Caesar's Palace over there, we've got Paris, and then we've got Gordon Ramsay Burger. That's where we're going for uh, lunch. And I'm so excited, I've always wanted to eat at a Gordon Ramsay Burger place. Gordon Ramsay Burger is inside Planet Hollywood, and it's so cool being at all these places that I've always heard about, and I've never been able to come, and here we are. I finally get to actually explore and see the things that I've always wanted to do. I'm very excited. We're gonna be meeting up with a friend who already has a table for us, but I just wanted to show you a look of the restaurant from the outside. It looks so cool, they've got all these flames in there, and uh, I'm excited. You can actually buy some Gordon Ramsay Burger merchandise too. Look, I wouldn't mind getting a Gordon Ramsay Burger shirt, you know? Here is a look at the menu, and they have a special 24 hour burger that I think I'm going with. A 24 hour, it's a braised short rib, red eye barbecue sauce, white cheddar cheese, brown sugar bacon, arugula, cold brew vinaigrette, and pickled shallots. I mean, if you're, I mean, I'm going all in. I think this is the, the top tier burger right there. Now that we're at the table, I already ordered the 24 hour burger. And one thing that I keep on playing in my head is Vegas Vacation. It's one of my all time favorite movies. And one of the scenes where he was sitting down, well, Chevy Chase was sitting down with his family and they were having breakfast. And he was so addicted to gambling, he would just get up and be like, Excuse me, I have to use the restroom. And then go and gamble and then come back. Like, you go lose money and then come back. And I, I don't know, I just keep on thinking about that. I lost $20. And here it is, the 24 hour burger. That is a huge burger. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna be able to actually take a bite out of this. Like, they got the braised short ribs stacked up high there, the arugula, and I'm so excited to dive in. I Like I said, I've, I've been told this is the best burger in the world, so we'll find out. All right, I'm going in. 
I'm gonna attempt this, but look, like I said, look at this. It's beautifully stacked. It's a beautifully stacked burger. And uh, I don't wanna squish it down because then I feel like it'll ruin it. So I'm just gonna try to gently eat it. Just a gentle, I might have to take this part right here. Nope, not happening. Hold on, here we go. That's amazing. You can definitely taste the barbecue sauce and the vinaigrette, and it is such a good kick. The, the burger blend is good, and I like the uh, arugula on there. Very nice, and the bun. The bun is really, really good. So I, I kind of, I think I have to let it sit for a second and keep on trying more of it. Honestly though, it is an amazing burger. I really do love it and it's something special, it's something unique, especially with the vinaigrette, like I said, and the barbecue sauce. And I like how it's not falling apart. I, I feel like a good burger don't fall apart. Good burger don't fall apart. <laughs> Now, I do have to say, the burger was $26, and that does not include a side. So, you have to order a side, and we ended up getting like truffle fries and tater tots to share. And those are like $8, $10 a piece. So, for one burger, you're looking at almost, I would say $30 for the whole setup. All right, enough of the burger business. I have to say the burger was really, really good, but I don't think it was the best burger I've ever had. And now we're gonna go from burgers to uh, a robot making me a drink, because we are at the Tipsy Robot, and I'm excited. Like, those fancy robots back there are professional bartenders, and they're gonna whip me up a little cocktail. Things like this, I just absolutely love. So basically, you just go up and you order your drink. Like they have a whole bunch of touchscreen menus and the robots actually mix it. So like, that's really, really fascinating to me. So I'm definitely gonna get one. I mean, I have to. When's the next time I'm gonna ever be able to say I, a robot made me a drink? Looks like they got a good selection of drinks. So we're gonna see the signature ones. They got a Darth Vader, a Vegas bomb, a COVID killer. I think I'm gonna go with the Vegas bomb. I think that sounds fancy. Add it to cart. Bada bing, bada boom. Check out $20 for a drink. But I mean, it is made by some pretty fancy bartenders. Look at this. I, I'm like, blow, this is blowing my mind right now. Oh, he's going up the burger. Grab a bottle, it looks like. This is so cool. Mix it, mix it, shake it, not stirred. <laughs> oh, this is so crazy. Yep, that's mine right there. Bada bing. I just paid $20 for a robot to make me a drink, and you know what? Not not upset about it. It was really entertaining. Hey, he did a good job. It's a good it's a good drink. Just around the corner from the Tipsy Robot is uh, Paris, and look at this. This is a restaurant, the Eiffel Tower restaurant, and I think it is so cool. I don't know if you go all the way up, but if that is a possibility, I would like to do that. And also, I would like to dine at that fine establishment, the Eiffel Tower restaurant. I really love sharing this all with you guys. This is basically me, like this is basically just me walking around and seeing these things for the first time. I don't even know where I'm going. Just walking into places that look interesting. There was an Eiffel Tower on top of this building, so we're going inside. And wow, it is so beautiful in here. It's a casino, but it's like we're underneath the Eiffel Tower. Look at the sky. This is probably the prettiest casino I think I've ever seen. By far, this is the fanciest looking casino I think I've ever been in. I'm kind of just walking around going, mm. oh, like everything's catching my eye. And uh, yeah, 
It's really, really nice. We're going to a fancy little uh, bar right here. I don't know much about it. DTH, what is this? Yeah, this is Lisa Vanderpump's bar. This is the one that's oh. like in Bravo, Beverly Hills, the Housewife. I trust you. And it looks it looks extra classy in there. There you go. Look at <laughs> it looks very extra classy. I might need to switch out and put some pants on. My friend Dustin suggested this place, Vanderpump. I've never even heard of it, but uh, I'm kind of a fan already. It looks amazing in there, and they just turned the lights off and like made it a spooky setting, so I am so excited. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm already a fan. It looks so incredible in here, and I can't wait to just sit down and have a drink. The theming is just on point. Everything just looks, like I said, the best way to describe it is fancy. I'm 100% going with the spiced apple butter old fashioned. But I have to tell you something. The last person that made me a drink was a robot. So no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Here it is. Look at this. They brand the lemons. I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever had an apple butter old fashioned before. But I guess if any place, Vanderpump is the place. All right, we're all wrapped up at Vanderpump, but I have to say it was really cool in there. I love the atmosphere, the drinks were phenomenal, and now we're gonna make our way down the Las Vegas Strip, and we're gonna be going to the Pinball Hall of Fame. But we do need to make one pit stop before we get there, but I'm very excited. The Pinball Hall of Fame is like a legit icon of like pinball. Like they have games from the 1920s and everything's playable, so I'm very excited for that. But like I said, we got a little pit stop first. And of course, I needed to stop at the world famous Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada sign. Look at that. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? And it's the perfect time right now. The sun is setting. You can actually see the sun setting on Mandalay Bay in the background there. It's so beautiful out. And I've always wanted to get a photo with this sign and I'm finally doing it. Today is the day. I am so beyond ecstatic that I got to go to that sign. And there were so many people lined up to take photos. I felt like I was in Times Square just for a brief second there. And it was really loud because we were right next to the airport so you could hear all the airplanes. But wow, that was so great. <laughs> That's definitely a bucket list item checked off right there for me. And now, it's time for some pinball. Here it is. Pinball Hall of Fame. I am like beyond like thrilled to play some pinball. Sir. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> this is seriously just a gigantic warehouse full of pinball machines. And I like that. Like, it's, it's just, there's nothing on the walls, no decoration, just rows and rows of pinball machines. They have everything from current pinball machines like the Mandalorian to X-Men, Monopoly, Wizard of Oz, and even like super old vintage ones. I've seen this one over here. I don't even know what's happening there. 1920s. Yeah, you see like a little jigsaw here. Look at that. All of these machines are just so cool. We got Strange World, Ship Ahoy, Buccaneer. We got volleyball, soccer. There's so many different ones. Look at this Neptune one. I really, I think I just found a new love of pinball machines. The feeling is just so like incredible. Look at this Central Park one. This one looks so cool and actually has like a little thing that actually rings the bell up there. Let me know if you guys have ever played any of these machines before or have ever seen them before because I love it. I think it's such a cool thing. I really appreciate how most of the machines are 25 cents and they use like real quarters and stuff like that. Like I feel like it keeps it affordable. It doesn't cost anything to come in here either. We just come in and play some uh, pinball and they have arcade machines and claw machines. That's really cool. Like this is free to the public. It doesn't cost anything. And that's, I, I feel like uh, there should be a lot more of this, you know? For some reason, this one is standing out to me. Spin a card. I think it's 25 cents. Yeah, 25 cents. We're gonna spin a card here. I got a ball, line it up.
they also have other vintage things instead of just pinball. Look at this relaxolator. Tired, no pep, feet hurt, step up for a pickup. A tonic, a real treat for tired and aching feet. For only 25 cents, and I think you just stand on that. Oh my lord, I don't even want to see it off of right now. <laughs> that made my feet feel funny. Now I kind of got the spins. Like, it really shakes you like crazy. I don't know if you guys seen it. I couldn't even grab my camera in time enough because I was like... Brrr. Of course, anything Disney is going to catch my attention. And look at this. It's a Disneyland toy factory from 1961. It costs $4. Make your own Walt Disney characters. And it's Pluto. Look at the way he looks right there. I mean, it's $4, I gotta do it. This is really cool. I'm very excited. Look at that. I got my Pluto after all. And also, there's a Zoltar machine, so before we go, I wanna do a little Zoltar, but now I'm walking away with a Pluto at least. Good old Zoltar, 75 cents. <laughs> An ancient proverb for you from the great Zoltar. Be happy while you're living, for you are a long time dead. Uh, go ahead, my friend. Get yourself a little treat today. After all, you only live once, no? The Pinball Hall of Fame was such an awesome spot to visit, and I'm loving everything about Las Vegas. It's been so much fun. Now we're back at the hotel. It's time to switch out into our Star Wars outfit, grab our lightsaber, and make our way over to Mosh Eisley. And I'm so excited. We're going to have so much fun tonight, and I'm just happy to be able to show you guys. Now it's time to make our way over to Mosh Eisley, and this is Las Vegas coming alive at night. I love it, and I'm so happy I have my lightsaber. <laughs> ho! Got the golden nugget over there, and I just love walking through here. This is so pretty with the lights on, and it's still daylight on too. I like how they have some Halloween projections too. Looks like we're walking through a graveyard. Ooh, and a witch just flew by. All right, it is time for Mosh Eisley. We are here at Backstage Bar and Billiards, and it kicks off in just about an hour and a half, and we already have people lined up. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun night. Lots of lightsabers, I'm predicting. It's just about that time. So excited. Look at, we got lines all the way around the building. It has begun. As you can see, people are starting to trickle in and we've got a packed house. And all the activities are gonna start in a couple minutes and I'm excited. There are so many amazing cosplayers and awesome lightsabers. It's really gonna be a good time. I can't wait. Mosh Vegas, Mosh Eisley, thank you so much. You all look amazing. So many lightsabers, oh my goodness. Who's going to the festival tomorrow? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's have a good time and sing along. Here we go.
Yes! Yes! With that we are done here today Mosh Isley was amazing so many happy people with their lightsabers and the music the vibes were fantastic and I'm really loving my Las Vegas trip I'm only here for two days so I'm trying to make the most of it but I definitely plan on coming back and tomorrow we have the when we were young festival so I'm not too sure if I can record that because I didn't I noticed that they said no cameras are allowed so I have to look at it a little bit closer to see if that includes like you know point and shoots or if they're just talking about professional cameras and uh, yeah so I guess uh, we're gonna call it a night here and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye